Okay, this is a uh, just a quick uh, video on usage using rice to co change colors on my NeoPixel blade. It's been quite some time since I've used rice, um, and to be honest with you, I, I didn't even know I could have I could use it on the CFX because usually you know. I don't know, for some reason it the idea came out came up um, and on the CFX official uh, group on Facebook and uh, someone had mentioned that it is possible so so I here I am trying it out and um, Super Trio provided a data cable with my Vectra, and as you can see here, I've connected it to CFX board, right? And there you go. And yeah, you'll have excuse. I just set up my new computer, so I have no keyboard yet, but I won't be needing it for this. All right, so you can get this uh, rice from Plector's site. I believe this is the latest version of uh, rice for CFX. Now, uh, in order to connect it, you have to turn on the saver first. Let's see. Okay. Now in order to test if it's connected or not, the best thing to do is go to general and volume. So you can see there's nothing's happening. So what you do is you go to Sunborn Lake status. I happen to know that's already COM3, so that's the only thing that's connected other than my um, HD drive. So click connect. As you can see, it's not lit. You press connect. Now it's lit. In order to test that it's it is connected, you go back to volume. As you can hear, there you go. You can hear the volume going. Zero. All right, there you go. Oh, on. Okay, so you are connected. Now, um, let's see. So I'm gonna change the color. Say, for instance, I'm. Well, let's choose another font in here. Whether well, it's the uh, R2 font. Courtesy of Zainid, one of the guys I f saw on, found on Face, not Facebook, on YouTube, kindly provided it for free. Uh, download on his on his uh, one of his videos. Anyway. Sound bank selection. This job isn't always pretty. Let's try this one here. This is Hunter's Bounty by Link. So I'm going to change those colors, go to color, and it's always, and that's a, a first start, it's always good to use this here, and you know, choose whatever color you want, as you can see, you can come live in those, oh, looks like I'm not connected again, one second, I have to connect again, just for a second here. Okay. There you go. Let's see, I'm moving, moving that. And as you can see, you can see the sliders moving at the same time. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it's always good to use this as a base. I don't know, start say it. Say you want a green, then you can start using the slider to tweak it. Um, this happens to be uh, RGB. If I were to this all the way, I should get a red. Alright, red. If I were to the second one all the way to the right, turn this one down, I get a green. So, 
Uh, this one's a blue for sure. Um, so I'm going to stick with a green for this one and I'll, and I'll stick and tweak it to a, to a lighter green by tweaking the blue. So to be I like. So I don't know, aquamarine green sort of or a light green. It doesn't show on here but once you've determined what color you want you go over to save colors and you'll hear color profile, color profile save so when you turn off your saber it should turn on to that to that color which you save there you go so, so I thought that's just a brief uh, look what you can do with race. So it's a great program actually. It's in real time. You know, motion, blade effects, fashion clash, shimmering, flickering, all that sort of thing you can change. Colors would just be there. So um yeah. So that's pretty much it. Uh, very easy to use, very straightforward. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching.